of for sale now Vehicle Max of a beautiful 2010 Nissan Armada SE, two wheel drive, Galaxy Black on the outside with black leather interior with only 48,000 miles, has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website VehicleMax.net. It's an eight passenger, has a color backup camera and four brand new Bridgestone Dweller tires that we had installed on it. Four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors, and again four new Bridgestones, mud guards, running boards, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're also we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. This vehicle also has the um, heavy-duty Class 3 tow and package with the electric connection there ready to go. Parking sensors in the rear bumper. These are the ones that beep when you're approaching another vehicle. There are two, two on each side of the bumper. This vehicle is also flex fuel capable, which means you can put that E85 flex fuel that costs about 30 cents less per gallon, but it doesn't mean you have to put the fuel. You can just put regular unleaded or premium unleaded, whichever you wish. I'm going to finish going around the vehicle so you can see the car has no dents, no hail damage, no love bug damage, no major scratches or touch ups of any kind. Then we'll move on to the inside and I'll show you all the interior options. The car is still under the manufacturer's five year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. And let's go ahead and get to the inside and I'll show you the interior options. The car is running right now. The door panels are all charcoal black with this great trimming up here. Of course you got power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel. Got a driver's side power seat, power recliner. Before I sit down, I want to pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in brand new condition. This vehicle also has um, power pedals and the switch here to disable the uh, parking sensors in the rear bumper. Manual tilt wheel. Let me go ahead and get inside of it now. Let's turn on the AC. We'll put it a little lower so you can hear me talk. Okay, 48,991 miles. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer on the left hand side of your screen. I'm going to rev the engine. 5.6 liter V8. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine tune, no maintenance zoo, nothing like that. The only light that's on up there is the seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. Okay, we got um, uh, a Bose stereo sound system with color rear camera, which means when you put your car on reverse, you see the color rear camera comes on and it's got also parking guidelines on, the, on each side so you can see where you're going. Go ahead and uh, put it back in park. Um, so you got a cruise control on this side here. And on the left hand side you can control stereo, you can raise the volume. You can lower the volume obviously. You can mute it right here. After the beep, please say a command. Okay, and also this serves as your uh, voice command. And also, uh, uh, when you, once you pair your phone, your Bluetooth, you're going to answer it and hang up here. Command not recognized. This is, Please um, to use the hands hang on a second here. Press All right, there we go. Um, you can also navigate about your preset stations here by moving this up or down. And this will take you about your preset stations right here, which, of course, can be changed to your favorites. Um, let's go ahead and change this here. This vehicle does have the XM capability, although right now you're on preview mode because you have to sign up for your own subscription. Uh, you got dual climate control. What that means, for example, I'm going to put the driver's side at maximum while the passenger side, I just put it to 66 degrees. And what that means is that the AC vents on this side of the vehicle, this one here, 
and here it will blow at uh, 60 degrees while the two vents on the right hand side will blow at 66 um, okay let's see here down here you got um, these are your cigarette lighter adapters for your chargers or a cigarette lighter and here is by the way there's one on each side and here's your auxiliary input so you can put your iPod right in there connect your iPod right in there and play your music on your Bose stereo sound system um, down here you got your towing haul mode and what that does is that will make the transmission shift a little differently in order to adjust for the extra cargo load and disable the overdrive um, you got cup holders here on the right hand side nice deep storage down here with an arm that swings out in case you want to put a bottle there or a large let's say like a big gulp drink you know one of those large sodas uh, and that will keep it from rocking and sliding but this is mostly made for supposed to be made for bottles uh, okay, um, here where you rest your elbow, you got a nice little tray up in the top here where you can put your cell phone. Um, if you're going to access in here, clearly you want to remove whatever you put here because it's going to flip over. Okay, you got a nice deep storage down there. Your main glove box is on the right hand side over here. And in there you can see you got your owner's manual with all supplemental booklets that you need. Let's go ahead and pan over the passenger seating area now. Oh, this is my camera string. So you can see it's in perfect shape without any cuts, tears, burn holes, nothing like that. The interior is in remarkable shape. Okay, got an overhead console here uh, that has storage and also has map lights up here on each side, obviously. You press here and this pops open onto a, um, like a sunglass pocket. Up here, uh, you can control the uh, fan speed, the airflow, and the temperature for the rear row passenger. So in reality, you do have, what you have is triple climate control, where the rear row uh, passengers can have their own setting as well. Here's your microphone for your voice command and Bluetooth. Got a little pocket here, and two more big pockets here. Let me back up the camera here. All right, and this pocket and this pocket are exactly the same size, okay? Um, on the sides here of the center console, there are like little trays here that you can put pens or magazines or whatever. It's not very deep, but it has like a little slot where you can put stuff down there. Even your cell phone down there. Okay, um, let's go ahead and pan over the dashboard now so you can see it's in perfect shape without any cuts, tears, burn holes, or cracks. I don't know if I said this before, but um, there are no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke. So it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. All right, I think we're ready to move on to the uh, mid-row section of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and turn off the car. A little bit low on gas there. Okay. On the door panels, you also got pockets for like bottles or magazines or correspondence, newspapers, whatever you put up, want to put on there. Privacy tinted glass all around. The rear door panels are the same. All charcoal black with a great trimming. This vehicle does have the child lock protection and I'll show you how that works. What you do is you push this lever in here and what that does is that disables the inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open is the outer handle. To re-engage, just do the opposite, flick it over and this handle will start working again. In the back of the center console, you got AC vents for the mid-row passengers. This pops out into a cup holder. And here you got another cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers. Got um, another overhead console here in the back. The mid row passengers can control their own AC from here, the fan speed, the airflow, and also the temperature, just like we could from the front. They can also control the stereo right here. They have AC vents on the top here, one on each side, and also map lights. The rear row passengers have the exact same thing another set of AC vents. And, um, and more map lights. Got a large pocket here in the back. Let me see if I can reach it from here. All right. And then you got another pocket over here and the center. Okay. Um, again, this is an eight passenger, two in the front, plus three in the middle that makes a total of five, and three more in the rear, a total of eight. And they all have an over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, which uses this one here. And the mid-row passenger in the rear has a seat bill that comes off the roof back there. Uh, to gain access to the rear is very simple. Just pull up on this handle and the seat will, 
We'll flip forward and slide and give you nice and easy access to the third row seat. Let me give you a look at the headliner now so you can see it's in perfect shape without any cuts, tears, burn holes or stains and it's not sagging anywhere. Alright, let's move on to the cargo area. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. Parking rear sensors, rear wiper, rear window defroster. Let's go ahead and open the tailgate. This uh, third row seat is what we call like a 60 40 seat. You got 60% on this side, you see our parts there, and 40% on that side. And they are power folding. And I'll go ahead and fold one side just to show you. The switch is here on the side and they'll lay down uh, completely flat. And the cool thing about that is to say you have to put something large on this side here. If you still needed the seating capacity on that side, you could just do one side and not the other, or you could do both. And you also got another uh, yeah, map lights back here for the cargo area. All right, and a cigarette lighter adapter over here for your chargers as well. All right, let's go ahead and close the tailgate. This is a manual tailgate. All right, let's come on to the passenger side. Right rear tail light, perfect shape, not damaged, not scuffed. The vehicle has our color coded fender flares, okay, on all four wheel openings. Right rear door panel, perfect shape. I'm sure by now you notice the panels don't have any cuts, tears, burn holes. None of the speaker covers are cracked. They're not scratched. Give you another look at the interior from this angle here. Really nice shape. All right, I want to go ahead and talk to you about financing for just a second. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even have some programs for really rough credits. If you're concerned about the financing and you want us to go ahead and get your peer approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net. And to remind you that if you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George at 305-218-5462.